I hope you did well in the exam. So here we'll be talking about the forenoon session of gate civil and these memory based questions as soon as we are getting more and more questions we are uploading it on our website you can go to the link that is given in the description and you can check through that the solutions for the questions that were asked in this paper so here we'll be seeing some of these questions so if we see this first question here here they had given the concentration for calcium magnesium and bicarbonate and it is asking to find temporary hardness and total hardness so we know that total hardness if we talk about then total hardness it is given as i mean with the help of this formula that is concentration of calcium divided by its equivalent weight that is 20 plus for magnesium that is its weight is 12 and times 50 because we represent it in terms of CaCO3 so if we apply this formula so total hardness we can get from the data that is given in the question so concentration for calcium it is given as 100 milligrams per liter so 100 divided by 20 plus concentration for magnesium is 36 milligram per liter so 36 by 12 times 50 and solving this we get total hardness as 400 milligrams per liter and for carbonate hardness so for carbonate hardness we know the formula is that it is the minimum of total hardness and alkalinity so in this question we have been given the data about bicarbonate concentration also so with the help of that we can find out the alkalinity so alkalinity it will be given as concentration of bicarbonate that is 122 milligram per liter and divided by its equivalent weight so that would be 61 and times 50 to represent it in the terms of CaCO3 so this comes out as 100 milligrams per liter as CaCO3 so if we see through this formula minimum of total hardness and alkalinity so total hardness is 400 milligram per liter and alkalinity is 100 milligram per liter so from that we see carbonate hardness would be 100 milligram per liter and that is the required answer for this question then the next question it is related to the eigenvalues so for this given matrix m they have given the eigenvalues 5 and minus 2 and using that it is saying for another matrix that is given as mq minus 4 m square minus 2 m we have to find the eigenvalue so we know this relation if we know the eigenvalue for this matrix m then for another matrix the eigenvalue it can be given as lambda q minus 4 lambda square minus 2 m so if we put these values 5 and minus 2 we can obtain the required eigenvalues here so 5q if we put 5 first so 5q minus 4 into 5 square minus 2 times 5 that is 125 minus 100 minus 10 and that is 15 so one value is 15 and the second value again if you put minus 2 in this formula so we get the value as minus 20 so that would be the second eigenvalue so that way we can solve this then this next question is related to order and degree so, so that you can check here that order we give with the highest derivative and for degree we will have to remove this power here so based on that order is 3 and degree is 2 then we can see this question related to the hoop stress so here it says the hoop stress of a thin cylindrical shell is 30 newton per mm square and we have to find the maximum shear stress so maximum here it can be maximum in plane or out of plane and comparing in plane and out of plane the out of plane stress comes out to be more so that is given as with the help of formula pd upon 4t and this hoop stress it is given as hoop stress it is given as pd upon 2t so pd upon 2t it is given as 30 newton per mm square 
and using that we can find out this value of maximum shear stress as PD upon 40 so we just have to divide this value by 2 so that comes as 15 Newton per mm square then if we see this question here it is saying a wastewater sample contains two nitrogen atom species mainly ammonia and nitrate consider the atomic weight so atomic weights are given for these constituents then it is saying that in the sample ammonia concentration is 34 milligram per liter and nitrate is 6.2 milligram per liter so we have to find the total nitrogen concentration in terms of N2 as milligram per liter so we have been given the concentration of ammonia as 34 milligram per liter and N nitrate that is NO3 minus it is given as 6.2 milligram per liter now how we do in case of hardness calculation here also we just have to convert these concentrations in terms of nitrogen so from here if we convert so we have in the gram equivalent if we convert so for ammonia we have 34 and to convert it in gram equivalent we divide it by the given weight we divide by the equivalent weight so equivalent weight here it will be 14 that is the atomic weight for nitrogen and then for hydrogen times 3 so 14 plus 1 into 3 that is nothing but 17 plus same thing for nitrate so 6.2 divided by 14 plus 3 into 16 that is 48 plus 14 or 62 times then we will be multiplying it with the equivalent weight for nitrogen that is 14 so solving this we obtain the total concentration as 29.4 milligram per liter as N2 so that way we can solve this type of question then in the next question it is related to the shear stress in the reinforced concrete beam and it is saying a reinforced concrete beam with rectangular cross section 300 mm by 580 mm effective depth is made of M30 concrete 1% longitudinal tension reinforcement of Fe415 is there then the design strength of beam is 0.66 newton per mm square the beam has to resist factored shear force of 440 kilo newton and then it is asking the spacing of two legged 10 mm diameter vertical stirrups of fe415 grade steel so this spacing we know the formula between vus and the spacing it is given as 0.87 fy asv times small d divided by sv that is the spacing so from here we can find out the spacing we will need to find out this vus first so vus it is the net shear force that this stirrups will have to resist so so the total shear force or the factored shear force that is acting here is 440 kilo newton so 440 minus some shear force will be resisted by the beam itself whatever is the design strength based on that so that is 0.66 newton per mm square so 0.66 times the area that is 300 times 580 and this value come in and this value will come in newton so we'll multiply it with 10 to the power minus 3 to convert it in kilo newton so we get this value as 325.16 kilo newton once we have this value of vus we can just plug it in in this formula to obtain the spacing so sv is equal to 0.87 times fi so here we'll be using this fe415 that is the reinforcement steel for stirrup so times 415 times asv so two legged 10 mm dia stirrups we have so pi by 4 into 2 for two legs and 10 square to find the area times the depth that is effective depth 580 mm and dividing it by vus so that we have calculated as 325.16 
and here we will be using this value in Newton because other values are also in Newton. So if you solve this, this value comes around 101.16 mm and we can approximate it as 101 mm. So that is the required spacing that should be provided here. So similarly other questions are also there in this and if you go to our website you can check out all of these and also the additional questions that we are adding. So let us know in the comments if you know any other questions and we can help you with that also.